Hi, it's uh, Steve here from steveturton.com. Um, I'm going to do a, a quick um, video, two things to show you. Firstly, is I'm going to show you a very quick purchase of a domain. Um, and when I purchase that domain, the reason I'm purchasing that domain is for a number of reasons. One of them is to show you, do a demo for you, how to forward that domain with masking. So if you're uh, an affiliate marketer and you have your affiliate links, and if you don't want to physically put your affiliate links up on your promotions or you in your marketing and you want to cloak them, disguise them, you can do that through domain forwarding through through for and I'm going to demonstrate that for you here too. It's pretty simple to do. I use GoDaddy. I, I use other other providers as well, but in this case I'm using GoDaddy to buy it a domain and let's crank into this um, it's going to log on at the moment so sign in details are already admit uh, entered there here we go I've just signed on this is the page I have now it's my account um, you might see something different particularly if you haven't used GoDaddy before but uh, this is just to show you what you might expect to see if you are a GoDaddy user or not Remembering I want to purchase a domain uh, and so I'm just going to go back to the, the home page Go to Eddie. Here it's got search domain. So in this box, I'm going to enter a domain that I would like to use finding a domain These days with the words and that you want is very very difficult because it seems as though everybody's using a name that you would like to have but because I uh, am an affiliate partner with my online business education I'm going to try to uh, suss out uh, a domain with that so here, here we go I'm going to search just to make sure that this is available so mob partner one that's what I want my domain to me to be so it'll be www.mobpartner1.com so I've just typed in the words I want. I'm going to go over there and hit search domain. And I know it should be available. And because I've already researched it, you see. It is. Yes, your domain is available. Buy it before someone else does. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It's got a bunch of other stuff here. You can add to it or change it to. Not interested. I want that one right there. My partner one. I'm going to click on the continue to cart button. I warn you now, you will be upsold because that's what good people, good marketers do is to try to sell you some other stuff. Not necessarily because it's a rotten thing to do, but because there are sometimes things that are of benefit to you. So it says to have a quick look at these upsells. Personal inf I'm not worried about protecting my personal information at this point, so I'm going to give that a miss. Website builder plus hosting. I'm not interested in that at all, so I'm not going to check that box. This one here, I would suggest. No, I won't suggest to you, but I'll point out to you that if you are going to buy a domain for the purposes of um, hosting your own blog site so if you want your own blog you want to publish your own blogs be your own blog author and do all the postings and what have you co-hosting your own site is the way to go this is the box you would tick and um, with this box with your hosting box you can then download and use for free wordpress.org you own the WordPress site as much as you can own it. You're in charge of it. You're responsible for it. You can do things with it that you cannot do with if you've got the freebie WordPress.com uh, site. So um, just consider hosting if you want to have your own blog and be responsible for everything about that blog. I've got more than one of those, so I'm not going to do that on this occasion. I'm just going to go down uh, and point out the last of the upsells to you right now. Add an email to your domain. I'd suggest this is a good idea if you can manage it because it makes your domain look professional. So what I'm saying is your domain, as you know, if I go back to the top here, I'm, no, it doesn't say, but I'm looking at purchasing mobpartner1.com. So if I go down, if I select this, I can put 
my own name in front of that domain. So I could put steve at mopartner1.com for my email address or admin at mopartner1.com. Uh, mopartner1.com so it makes it a bit more professional and, um, and some people really like to see professional professionalism in what you do online it could make the difference between a sale or not so it's, it's worth considering but I'm not doing that on this occasion right now so I'm just going to continue to cart oh, all I want to do is buy that domain right now and uh, it says buy okay I'm going to go up here to check out because I don't want to ponce around with any other rubbish. I'm just going to go straight to check out. It's going to cost me, for two years, $33.48. Um, yeah, okay. I'll buy it for two years. I think if you look at this box, I can buy it for one, three, five, ten years. But I'm just going to buy it for two years and then renew after two years' time. Um, I'm not going to add anything else on here. I'm not going to add anything. So... 3348 uh, it says here proceed to check out that's Australian dollars that's because I'm in Australia funny about that proceed to check out and uh, I, yeah it, it wants money from me darn I'm gonna pay by PayPal because I can and I'm going to go over here, not to forget to click on this one. I agree to the following terms of service and all that. If I don't agree to that, it won't work. So I'm going to tick that. And then I'm going to go down there and say place my order. And really, that's all there is to purchasing a domain. I think the hardest part about all this is actually selecting a domain that you like that nobody else is using yet. Um, that's, the, that's the catch. So... Just using PayPal to pay for it. Everybody's best friend. Um, let's have a quick look at this. I'm going to continue. You've got to make sure you read what goes onto your screen. Just don't go click, click, click and click. Because you never know what you're purchasing. You've got to make sure that you're clicking on something which is what you want. And not what you don't want. No, I don't want to save that password. It says review your order and confirm your purchase. Here we go. So the order is for domain registration, mopartner1.com for two years, 3298, 3348 plus the ICANN fees, which is correct, place my order. Now this may seem like a long-winded affair, but it's simple. I can tell you now, three years ago, this was not this simple. This is easy. Your payment was successful. That's all I really need to know. You've got a great new domain. Thank you very much. Start a three month trial. Another upsell. Not interested. Job is done. So I'm just going to, not even going to sign out. I'm just going to shut that screen down. And oh, you don't want to see that rubbish. You don't want to see that rubbish either. And, and that's it. Uh, so hope uh, that helped. I'm going to come back in just a moment with uh, how to forward that domain. It's going to take a little time for that purchase to register that that purchase to register my domain on my account and um, i'll be back and show you how to forward your affiliate link don't go away